Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS advice, we are going to go over changing your iMessage caller ID. Now, what that is, is that is the number or email that somebody sees when you send them an iMessage. This is the email address or phone number that they are going to see on the other end and that you see right here. Well, you can actually change that and now with iOS 6, you can even have it include your phone number on something like an iPod Touch. I can send and receive iMessage messages with my phone number on something like an iPod touch or an iPad. So I'm going to show you how to go into the settings and change that caller ID that other users see when you send them an iMessage. What you want to do first here is go into the settings app and once you're in settings here you want to scroll all the way down until you see messages. Tap on messages and right at the bottom here you'll see send and receive and right here it has an email address listed but if we go ahead and tap on that you'll see that we have a bunch of different options listed here. One of which is my phone number, and then we also do have several other email addresses, and then our Apple ID at the top here. All you have to do is tap on one of these addresses here to change to that caller ID. And so if we tap on this one here, we can have two selected now. I have two of these addresses selected, and if we scroll down to the bottom right here, you can see it says, start new conversations from. So if we have two addresses selected, it will let us choose which one we would like to start a new conversation from when we create a new message. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, we have both of those here, both of those addresses, and we can go ahead and select one or the other to start a brand new conversation from. So you have two different ways to set the ID in which your iMessage is sent and received. You can receive messages at any address right here. Then you can also set it to start new conversations from the addresses right here. Like I said though, if you do have an iPhone, you have the ability to use your phone number to send and receive iMessages now with iOS 6. So this is how you set your caller ID for iMessage in iOS 6. I hope this was helpful for everybody. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.